Weird. I didn't think it had to stay full. Well, I don't know. Maybe it does. This guy's going to need gas soon. I didn't realize I was running out of gas. Alright. Unload this guy. Yeah, this is much easier. <laughs> and it holds slightly more capacity than the gray trailer, but still a waste of money. Yeah. Honestly, I do mostly just use these Agriliner trailers. I don't go bigger than this. Because they're cheap. And they work. <laughs> and they're they're small enough that your even your small track your smaller tractors can pull them without having too much difficulty. They're easy to fit in and out. The only thing that they're hard it's it's hard to do with them is to back them up if you need to. Uh, they're definitely not easy to back, but Alright, so let's run down with this guy. Huh, I find I'm, I'm having a hard time believing I can't fold that up, but I guess that's how it goes. Alright, so let's run down to the cow farm. And we'll straw the cows while we're down there. We could even feed them. We can get them, we can get them fed before the day is over. We might be able to get some productivity out of them, I don't know. I don't know if it counts the hours before you feed them, but uh, I'm sure they're hungry. My 31 cows. Here, cows. All right, I'll see you when I get down there. As I was thinking about it, I would like to trade this guy up for the 115 horsepower model. I don't mind the little tractor. It's kind of nice having a small tractor for the farm, but I would like to go up to 115 horsepower. Sometimes you do silly stuff like, well, at the time that I bought this, I didn't have a lot of income. So it was, you know, like a ten or $15,000 price difference for that little extra horsepower. But it would be nice to be able to get this guy. I don't think he goes any faster, but... I don't know. Maybe he's fine. We'll probably just leave it. It's a waste of money at this point to do that, but sometimes I like wasting money, as you guys know <laughs> from watching the videos. Arthur, what are you doing? So let's get... Uh, mm, nah. We'll dump these off. I hear the cows mooing. They weren't mooing before. We have cows. Happy cows. What? Abort. Try that again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And this time we're successful. So let's run over, get the straw collection wagon out. I think that we will have enough But I don't know for sure. But I think that we'll have enough in this bin already. To With 30 cows, I think that this should be plenty of straw. Maybe we'll need more, but I think this will be plenty. So basically you come in here with our collection wagon. And we just dump this off. Right there. And you'll see it fill up the cow pens with straw. And like I said, I'd be surprised if there wasn't like seven days worth in this collection collection wagon. But we should fill it up again so that we have it. Wow, no, it's going to take all of it, looks like. 
Nope, it, it kept some in there. So let's run this guy up to the field. We'll fill him up, and then we'll collect more bales. But I want to have I want to have this up there. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, Jade Storm was complaining about this map's cow facility t being just a little bit too small. It doesn't feel like a big cow facility, and I would agree with that. It does seem like a very small cow facility, actually. It's not impressive. It's not what you'd expect from the Spanish. Never mind. The Spanish Arthquisition. All right. Back to the farm. All right, so we're pulling up to the farm, and I'm going to collect with my collection wagon. So I'll turn that on. That'll bring our speed down drastically. Sorry, I know I promised no nighttime stuff, but that's what happened, man. Sometimes it just happens that way. Sometimes it's just nighttime. Night, night. And the great news is we won't have to collect straw for a while, I guess. I think I missed a bunch. <coughs> that was kind of a wild turn there. If I was being a little more realistic about it, I probably should have gone a little slower. Just a little slower. Just a little. And if I want to be more efficient about it, I probably should use the JCB for the cow farm runs because this tractor is a lot slower than the JCB going up and down the hills and stuff. Stuffs. 37% full. And it looks like the harvester just ran out of stuff to do. But things are going well. So I'm not too concerned about rushing him off to the next field. We'll finish our jobs here and then we'll move on up to the big field. I miss again? I did. <laughs> oh, pay attention. You missed all the straw. Probably leaving little bits of stuff everywhere. All over. We did a wedding a couple weeks ago. There was rain. It was a Saturday, but it was a really rainy day. It was the first weekend of October. And uh, I used to, you know, you could go to the public library. The Cleveland Public Library is one of the only venues in Cleveland that's still free. You don't have to pay any money to get in there. Uh, most places charge you money for brides to show up and get in there. So we went there because it was raining. And there was like f seven other wedding parties there. And I'm like, well, I guess this gig, this, this, uh, this venue, cross this venue off the list. <laughs> Sucks. Because we really need a rain place, but yeah, not with 500 other brides clamoring around. You know, it's just, <laughs> gosh, it's not worth it. But it was, it was pretty funny. I was like, oh, man. Cat was laughing. All right, so this guy is full up almost. Once we get to the top of this, I think it'll be full. Eh, maybe not. I might need to run one more line. But uh, we'll just park this here, and then I'll, I'll take it down later. Uh, we'll finish the bailing. And I, like I said, I'm going to use the JCB really to tr be trucking the stuff back and forth between our here and the cow farm. It's silly to use the small tractor because this tractor is slow when it comes to that kind of stuff. That's what we bought the JCB for, was to do all the road work. So about to fill up to 100%. There we go. So now we can park this back down at the cow farm and use it for the next round. Uh, but we don't need any more hay on there for good for now. So let's go ahead and hop over to our harvester, the harvester of sorrow. Languish over me. All right, so we moved the harvester up to the big field here, um, and we are going to go grab the 
wheat trailers. I would imagine we'll fill up at least once and have to make a run down to the train station down at the bottom of the hill here. We'll see if the T6175 uh, is able to handle T6160. This is the four-cylinder, that's right. I forgot. It's the smaller engine. The smaller motor. But uh, once again, still digging these tractors. I've been playing with them on some of my other maps, too. I did buy the T6175, the six-cylinder, uh, and I found that it does... Um, it definitely has more horsepower. But this one has been sufficient for our farm so far. And with that bigger JCB, um, we're good there. I just always like bigger tra like bigger horsepower. <laughs> like any of you guys, I'm sure. Horsepower. More. Good thing. Give us more horsepower. We need more. Alright, so... We'll park this train here and we're gonna grab this guy and finish doing our wrapping not wrapping you can't wrap straw you moron <laughs> Arthur you idiot no more straw wrapping only collections Beep, beep. Slow it down. Slow it down. Bring it around. Drop it off. Dump it out. You're all good. So anyway, I am done with weddings for the year, except for that Chicago wedding, uh, which is a video, so I don't really... Actually, there's more work that goes into that, but I, I, I kind of enjoy the wedding videos. Um more than the photos in some ways it, it's different and that's probably why i'm enjoying it because it gives me something different to do i'm not doing the same edits books i just i go in there and i i make a video and then i take it and turn it into something awesome and i really love doing it so the uh the uh wedding i don't really count that as a seasonal wedding plus i get a week off i have actually next saturday off and i will be working all day saturday plus making videos for you guys but because uh, I've got, you know, Texas coming up here, but uh, it's my first wedding. It's my first Saturday off since the be the end of June, like the middle of June. We started back in the end. Or no, that's not true. I had two weekends off in July. And then I've been working every Saturday since. So <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to be Saturday free starting this week. But I still have to work, like I said. I'm not I'm not I'm not off the hook. I just I'm off for a week. <laughs> but I have to still do wedding photos. Now theoretically, our New Holland should be able to run that baler, and I probably will, but we're gonna we're gonna run this down to the uh, cow farm right now and drop this trailer off. Uh, I wish I could grab the windrower too, but you can't push it, so. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, Chev. I can never find my way up to here. This is like the best route. When I'm coming up, I always get lost. I can never find this route. Is it the second exit, maybe? Now this does take us down to the biogas plant, so maybe it's a little bit of an overshoot, but it... 60 kilometers an hour. Actually, we can go faster. 71's the top speed. Whoa, I feel a little bit nervous about going down this hill 71 kilometers an hour. That's a little too fast for my taste, so we'll try to make a little bit more of a scale turn here. Yeah, see, this dumps us off south of the biogas plant, or... Uh, Weast. It drops us off east of the biogas plant, right? Because we're heading west right now.
Here we are at the cow farm. I'll park this away for the night. Oops. Funny, because with this, such a little number of cows, it's just funny that this collection wagon fills them up with straw all the way. <laughs> for seven days. <laughs> I'm so used to having to dump like 70 of these in, because we usually have like three or 400 cows. It makes a big difference not having that many cows. <laughs> of course, they won't make much money, but they'll make some money. I'll probably get, I'm going to guesstimate about five to $10,000. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Not tonight. It'll be tomorrow when we start making money on them. But now we've got two ways to make money without silage. Plus the lumber if I ever want to go back. But I don't. I'm done with lumber. I think we're probably good on equipment too for a while. So we have purchased enough equipment to get enough equipment to get this farm running on a pretty um, steady basis. Excuse me. My goodness. I'm going to grab some gas here. Fill her up, Jack. I'm waiting for bed. Wow, this takes a lot of gas. Holy crapsicles. Let's do it. Yeah, I still think this is the fat. Well, we could go up. Let's see what we could trick cut our way through here. As Goosey would say, we need to find a shortcut. Shortcut. But should we roll up on this from this side? There's the road that I need right there. So I think we're doing okay. This just bypasses some of that other road. Instead of going over there to the right, we're going to get over, pick up the road right here. Ta-da. That was fairly fast. And I'm sure by now our harvester needs to be... The harvester of sorrow needs to be unlimbered, unloaded, whatever. So let's go ahead and hop over to the... Yep, there he is. Hop over to the grain train. Get this guy to work. The good news is he ended up heading the right direction, so I can just park and leave. There we go. I'll head off. Um, there we go. It's Yeah, see, I can put it up and down now, but maybe when it gets full, you can't. Maybe it just glitched. I don't know. I'm not sure what happened there. Hmm. I just don't know. Four bales. Four bales to midnight. Four bales and three sheets to the wind. Let's see. Then none of them rolled down all the way, so we're good there. So let's go ahead up to the top. El Tapo. So we're going to have a, I don't want to say a lot of straw bales, but we'll have enough. We'll have at least as many as we, well, probably have, this field's going to yield a lot more. So 16 or something like that, which we'll go through them for sure. If you buy the, uh, there's like a, a matching little piece that goes with the, the cow farm stuff. Uh, I'm not. It's, I'm tired, so I'm not getting the words. There's a. It looks like a snowblower for straw that you can buy. It's. I think it's like fourteen or fifteen thousand dollars. It's a little trailer, and you can throw a bale in there, and it chops it up and and spits it into the cow pen. And I forget what that thing is called. It's like a straw thrower. <laughs> I own this field now. It belongs to me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
one more uh, and we'll be able to plow all these together into one giant field. Look at that, stop yawning. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I was in Trenton, New Jersey. With Goosey, who talks like she's from New Jersey. She's from New Jersey. She's like, why do you say I sound like I'm from New Jersey? I don't know how to fix that, though. I feel like I want to help her learn how to not speak like she's from New Jersey. Not that there's anything wrong with sounding like you're from New Jersey, but it's somewhat of a speech impediment for her. And I don't know what to do to correct that. Um, because it's really cute, first of all, but I don't want her, you know, obviously, it's, it's not baby talk. She's a very, Goosey has a very small mouth. So I don't know that her, her I don't want to say her palate, it's in her palate that causes those sounds. Some part of the way her mouth works. Oh yeah, this tractor just is not, this is not cutting it. <laughs> Uh, of course, this is a pretty steep incline, but this tractor does not have, I think, 90 horsepower is the requirement. He's doing it, but barely. So we'll put him out of his misery. He can run the collector. Um, anyway, uh, she, um, it's definitely something that I don't want her to feel like self-conscious about. And it's really cute when she does it, but she just, it's its gonna, you know, down the road. Anyway, what I was gonna say is like, she has a little friend, his name's Jackson, and Jackson says, he does the same thing. Like he'll, he pronounced, he's saying, he called truck, fruck, like F-R-U-K, fruck. Of course, it sounds bad, but uh, but I could say, say t, and he'd say, he would say t, and I'd say, say er, and he'd say er, and I'd say, say now truck, and he'd say fruck. <laughs> But he got he got once in a while he would say it he could he could say it, and if I said t, he would say t, and if I said er he would say er. Now with Violet the hard thing is I try to get her to say er, and I'll say I'll say growl Gandy say er, and she says oh, <laughs> and I'm like um, I don't know how to fix that because she can't make the sound to begin with like most kids, if it's a, you know like a speech like a mental speech impediment. Um, you can teach them other ways to make that sound, but I almost wonder if it's like the shape of her little, like her little mouth that's causing her not to be able to pronounce it properly. Oh, hold on. My wife wanted to, I forget what the name of the show is. Uh, Parks and Rec. It's a horrible show, but it was, there's some funny stuff. Um, all right. So we have, this guy's almost full, which is great. And we're going to continue bailing. Let's see how this guy does going up. So anyway, I wonder if there's a way that I can help her. I'm just trying to figure out. Because, you know, as her parents, I, I want to be able to be the one. Though she might need to see a speech therapist to fix that problem. We'll see. Hopefully she'll just grow out of it. You know, but. Uh, yeah, this sees, this tractor just jumped right up and, gra and moved. Doesn't have any problem going uphill with this little tiny baler. Sweet. Sweet, we are in the lead. Some tractors were just meant for some jobs, while others were meant for others. Though really, this tractor... Oops. The, uh... Actually, we probably should trade off. This guy should be pulling the big train trailer train of grain. Or grain train, if you want to shorten it down. Um, the uh, New Holland, the 160 horsepower New Holland should be pulling this. So maybe we'll switch out here. Let's do that. Let's switch out. Switch off. 
change directions, stir things up a bit. Thankfully, they put that fence along there. I never understood why they put that fence there, but now, as an official bailer or baller, I do. Street ball. Yeah, like this guy shouldn't have any problem pulling this up the hill either. And he's a little slower at it, but still not not really an issue. It looks a little more right size fits. Like this tractor kind of goes with this baler. Probably the color schemes too match, you know. New Holland. And this guy needs some gas too. Man, I'll have to run him over to the station when I go to put this stuff away. Rut row. Harvester is going to be full here in a minute. One thing I'd like to do soon is to get a larger windrower. Not for this, but for the grass. All right, so let's grab this guy. Whoops, I totally missed. <laughs> oh, he. Oh, he. He. No, 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 bad, naughty bale. Yeah, you do that. That's better. No rolling off. No rolling out of here. No one gave you permission to leave. You stay put. I'm driving through the grain. That's very unprototypical. Sorry, guys. Naughty me. Grain driver. Grain wrecker. Naughty boy. And probably at this point, I should drive this down and empty it out because then it's going to be more than 10%, and that will make it so that the harvester has to wait. It's not going to unfill all the way, so let's go ahead and take this down. 38,279. We should make. Gosh, I would hope we'd make some money on this. I don't know. We'll see. It will make some, but obviously the train will double it. So we got to go do that for sure. Keep it moving, bucko. There we go. Special delivery. Special grain delivery. Grain for y'all. I forgot there's gas down here, too. Look at that. Let's see how much we weigh. Millions of kilograms. Liters, I think, is what it measures it in. So, dump this off. Very nice. So, predict 4,000, right? 5,118. Five, and this will be a little bit less. 4, 2, Two one one, and let's get over here. Pull the lever, Frank, and drive back up to the farm. In a minute, we'll get our money back. 
So, yeah, it's not bad. We'll see whatever we get. I would say probably another ten thousand dollars. Not bad. So about twelve, twelve to fifteen, I think, is what we decided we were going to get from these crops. Um, but we're short now because I had to buy the extra trailer. Uh, we're short a field, so I will not be able to buy the other field. Bummer. Uh, until the next cycle, but oh well. Slow growth. You know, after we get the next field, though, twelve thousand. Not too bad. Still not enough. Uh, close. I think I needed thirty thirty eight thousand for that field. So maybe we'll see. But I also need money to to reseed these fields uh, and fertilize them. So I am not going to probably be spending any additional money right now. Uh, but after the next harvest, we should have enough to purchase that other field. So let's park here and let's go ahead and continue to bale.